Hello? Director Schultz. I don't want to sign that bill uh, saying Lyndon Johnson approves a bill. It'll let him sell it for more than 6%. Well, this is that intermediate yeah. credit bill. Mm -hmm. Now, you have to talk to Joe, and my men are not very smart on figuring out what to do, but I don't believe I'll sign it. And I let the bankers wonder how they get their money out of it. Like two things. Sons of bitches are just stealing from us, and I'm tired of it. I don't want my name associated with it. Well, removing a limitation of 6%. I well, you know this just brings them up where everybody else is. Well, you know, you know, everybody else I'm is. removing, I'm proving, I'm taking a positive action to lift the 6% ceiling, and I'm against it. I think 6% is too much to pay on government loan. My people tell me they just have to default on something. All right, then let them default. What so what? to show that these sons of bitches are trying to rob them and we'll have a national bank. Uh, they just ruin the credit of all these agency issues. Well, drive their rates up way to how high they are now. I that don't think so. Day. I think when the American people find out what these sons of bitches are doing or we'll let them do, I think it'll rise up and have worse than they are civil rights. I just think that. I think what we better do is get a hold of some bond people and tell them they better buy these bonds at lower than the six. Notice housing took a little drop yesterday. All of our people are just wanting to come in just quick as they can uh, and issue everything they can. And uh, you, uh, I've got big old fat oil bankers up there wanting to get some of this lush money. Yeah, I'm not. They take and they they make a loan to the they make a loan to some rich cattleman that's worth two billion dollars, and then by God you run down to intermediate credit bank and want to get the money out. Yeah. You know, God knows I'm not. Uh Let's get the smartest, uh, let's get the smartest Andrew Jackson man we can on this. Let's find out how not to sign it, because I don't think I'm going to sign it. You don't remember the last day that he was president? No, I don't. Oh, but, uh, and I don't I think I'm going on this export-import thing. I just don't think I'm going to recommend that. Well, and I just you, think... Uh, set aside a little time for Joe and me to talk yeah, to you on that one? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll get back at you. It doesn't have to, we don't have but, anything coming up till... But I want some of y'all to look at this from my viewpoint, figure out how how not to do it instead of how it's got to be done. I don't want to have to go out in private life and bring me some down. I, look, I looked at it well, once, so I'll go back and look at it again. Uh, and get some of your people, tell them, uh, just tell them what the president wants done. Well, I told them this morning, why in the hell don't you rich bankers call up some bond dealer up there and tell him you ain't going to pay but six and uh, do it? Well, they said we might be able to do that. I said, you damn sure better. I just think they they got a bunch of namby pamby sissies. They don't think we got guts or brains either in the treasury, and they just they're screwing us to death. That's what I think. And I uh, our fools are all wanting to get all they can, quick as they can. Every agency that reads about something, they want to come in and get get it some more. And I just think we just got to quit issuing them for a while and hold back. You know the fight I had the other night with Joe on the Federal Home Loan Bank. Well, let me take one more look at it. I, as I say, the thing that scared the devil out of me was this defaulting business. And that, just, that would just be hell in terms of what we do to the rates on everything else we got to sell. That's what, uh, I mean, it isn't as if this was new money. This is money they got to roll over and they got to find it somewhere. Now, I'll take a... Well, what I boys want to tell me, I've got a big Texan in yeah. town. He wants to get it so he can rediscount some of his stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're just using this and I don't think we're smart enough to know it. That's my judgment. I'm not an expert in this field, but I believe that the country is getting the impression that the Johnson financial experts are the tools of big business. And I rather think that we are. So I think we've got to watch it. Well, I don't know. All I know is, Mr. President, we haven't been able to sell anything, you know, at this rate before. Uh, when these, the last one was above six. And uh, if this were new money, I'd agree with you. But uh, the problem is it's not new money. It's money that's rolling over, and they've got to find some way to get it. Well, why don't the trust fund pick it up at five ninety-five? The whole issue? Yes. Well, uh, you're just going to raise absolute hell with rigging the market. Uh, no problem with the trust funds taking a big slice, but you got to have a price made outside the trust fund. Otherwise, they'll say we're just jiggling with the Social Security and the pension funds to rig the market. That's uh, why I don't care what they say. What the truth would be would be that we're not going to let a farmer pay over six percent when the the trust fund's got some money, and that's a good earning for a trust fund. We're not going to let it go to Wall Street. Now, what's wrong with that? Well, what's wrong with it, it seems to me, is that uh, you've got problems with high interest rates, and you're solving them by uh, 
using that trust fund money. All right. And that, and that, and that uh, proper use of it? No, sir. I don't think to make a rate that's uh, below the market rate, I don't think it is. I think it's going to cause, in the long run, more trouble than it's worth. Now, don't get me wrong. I think the trust funds will take a, a good, solid slice of it. That's fine. No problem. They ought to. But to take the whole issue, uh, you know, it's Well, I don't see anybody in our outfit that's trying to keep uh, below the sixes and just tell them we're not going to do it. I think we've well, got to find somebody in the government to do it. Now, you do it if I you will. If you can't, let me get some consultant back in here that will just try to be a dictator in this money field. If Joe's not going to do it, some of you got to do it, because I'm just not going to sign this stuff, remove and make the sky the limit for every banker. I'm not going to do it. Well, let me take one more All crack at right. it. I looked at it once, so I'll try again. All right, and look at the export-import thing, too. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, Joe and I are going to have to...